Peter Calamus is an American scientist and writer based in Altadena, California. He is a data scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory as an associate project scientist at UCLA's Joint Institute for Regional Earth System Science and Engineering. Born, May 9, 1974, age 48 years, affiliation, National Aeronautics and Space Administration Education, Harvard University, B.S., Columbia University, Ph.D., Awards, NASA Early Career Achievement Medal, Transition U.S. Walk the Talk Award Books, Being the Change, Live Well and Spark a Climate Revolution Research Interests, Earth Science, Climate, Clouds, Gravitational Waves I know that I can change the world, indeed, I am changing the world. What I can't do is save it. Our society is built around chasing happiness through consumption. But lasting happiness can never be found in this way. I know that I can change the world, indeed, I am changing the world. What I can't do is save it. The act of flying is an exercise of privilege. Globally, only about 5% of humans have ever flown. This is one of the great benefits of slow travel, a visceral sense of connection, that everywhere is home. Everywhere I go, I'm home, the whole earth is my home. Humans, let's stop burning fossil fuels. Let's stop killing each other and our planet. Let's stop merely talking about love, let's start practicing it. We have nothing to lose but our misery. When temperature and precipitation regimes both change, there's little in agriculture that isn't affected. Here's one example that might wake you up, by 2050, the area suitable for coffee production could be half as large as it was in 2016. Let this sink in for a moment, our society has reached a point where even one person's trash, taken by itself, generates more CO2e than the average Bangladeshi generates for everything. Trains still have potential for efficiency increases, and could run on renewable electricity. They therefore hold potential to become much more favorable relative to other modes of transport. But planes are already nearly as efficient as they can be. The U.S. spends more on its military than the next 10 nations combined. This money causes great misery, largely for the sake of maintaining access to fossil fuels, and in my opinion could be better spent elsewhere, for example transitioning to carbon-free energy.